Yeah, we are. Look at that dollar burn. Burn, baby, burn. Dun, dun, dun. This is what we do with our money pretty much every day, Josh, right? A lot of Not people, all of us, yeah. Yeah, not all of us, but a lot of people definitely do. Yeah. I've never seen this up close, so it's pretty fascinating. I know. Here, you can look at it up close. I know. Like, would you do that to your dollar? I would not do this to my dollar, but yeah. it's your dollar, so. But it's my dollar. Yeah. Uh, but the reason why, you know, I show people this is why? Uh, because people burn money every day. Every single day. Not in the literal sense, but you might as well be. Yeah, might as well. All right, so what I wanted to talk about today is my Capital One credit card, okay? Uh, I wanted to go over the numbers. Where is my, uh, okay, found it. Found it. Okay, my, my, my marker. All right, so um, about two or three days ago, I got, um, uh, uh, I, I, I received an email from Capital One telling me, hey, good job. You got two hundred and fifteen dollars and fifty one cents cash back throughout the year because every time I use my Capital One card, I get one point five percent back on everything that I buy. Wow, so that's awesome. Yeah. So every time I went to the bakery, to Shoprite, to um, gas station, Applebee's, I don't use a gas station, and there's a reason why. Yeah. Okay. Do you know why? I don't. Okay. It's because you know uh, when you go to gas stations and they and they say and it's on there. It says uh, you know for premium gas or regular gas, uh, it says uh, uh, you know two dollars if it's in cash, but then two fifteen right. if it's credit card. Yes. All right. So the numbers don't make sense. If I use my credit card, then I'm gonna get charged two dollars and fifteen cents per gallon if that's what they're charging. But I'm not. But but the thing is, it doesn't make any sense. I might as well just use cash because. I, uh, because the numbers don't make sense, okay? Right. Anyway, but but I use it whenever I go to, let's say, across the street. If I want to buy an empanada for, for you know, $4, you know, a few empanadas for $4. Right. I swipe the card, okay? Um, if I go to Applebee's, if I buy clothes, which I don't buy too much of, uh, if I buy pizza, whatever, okay? Whatever, all right? 1.5 cash back and all that? Yeah. And everything, everything that I use my card for. Like even online payments, online payments, you know, like if, if somebody needs me to, if somebody says to me, hey, Rob, um, I need to make this payment online, but I don't have a credit card, but if you could pay for it and then I'll pay you in cash, I'm like, all right, cool. I'm going to get like, if it's a thousand dollars, you know, um, hey, why not? What is a 51.5% of a thousand? I'm going to get 15 bucks back. You know, but 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 then my friend, and that that's happened only once this year, where somebody didn't have a credit card, and he was like, "Can you make this payment online?" I'm like, "All right, cool. I made it online. I paid a thousand dollars, but then I got the thousand dollars back from my friend. He had to reimburse me for for that payment. Yeah. But guess what? I only paid nine hundred eighty five dollars really for that. Why? Because I got one point five percent back. So that fifteen bucks came back to me." In this form, so okay, it's, so, so it's kind of like uh, it's kind of like an investment. Yeah. So basically, for every dollar that I spend uh, with my card, I'm only paying, you know, ninety nine point no ninety eight point five cents. For every hundred dollars that I spend, I'm only paying ninety eight dollars and fifty cents. Okay. I'm not saying I'm only paying. I'm paying ninety eight dollars fifty cents. Okay. Now, what I wanted to do was the math over here. Okay. It's very simple math, and I want to go over like how much I spent in one year just on this card alone, because you could do the same thing as well, but not just with this card, but with other cards as well that, and I'm going to show you how much I spent this year. You're going to be like, that's all you spent on like everything. No, that's not all I spent on everything because I have other cards that I spend on other things that give me more cash back. Okay. So, so let, let's go over these numbers. So I know that I spent, I mean, that I was given back, $215.51. So I know that, so so this is the amount I got back from the 1.5%, which means that, okay, over here, I wanna find out what that is. So I, I don't know how much I spent. So when I got the email from Capital One. What does the A stand for? A stands for, we don't know what that number is. Oh, okay. A is, you know, okay, we, okay. we don't understand what that number is, okay? All right. All right. So. Uh, but, but but we can get to this easily, okay? So, so 
um, uh, because we need to convert this into a regular number, that 1.5% is going to turn into 0.015%, okay? So now we have this A, okay? So whatever I spent this year on this credit card, which I don't know yet, that's why it's A question mark, times the 1.5% cash back that I got equals the, the amount that I got in cash back. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is very simple. Now I divide both sides by 0 0.015, all right? Whenever you divide something, uh, whenever you divide an equation, you, you, have to, you have to divide both sides by that same number, right? So Josh, I need you to do me a favor, please. Sure. Can you do 215.51 divided by 0 0.015? That is $14,367.33. So this is how much I spent this year on this credit card, all right? The more that I spend on this credit card, the more I get cash back. Now, obviously, that doesn't mean that I'm just going to spend to spend. Splurge. Yeah, 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 because I'm going to get 1.5% cash back. Right. I'm not saying that. And right now, my balance on this account, it's zero dollars. So, you know, once I get, like, I don't even wait for my monthly bill to come. I go on my app, on my phone app. If I have a $300 balance, bam, it's paid. It doesn't even hit my monthly statement, all right? So whenever I get my monthly statement, it's usually like 50 bucks or, or, or nothing, okay? Right. Why? Because as soon as I, you know, um, uh, uh, utilize my credit card for any payment, I pay it. Could you, say, could you say it would be convenient, say, if you're out to dinner with three friends mm -hmm. and um, you pay with your credit card and everybody just sends you the money via Venmo, Cash, Zelle. Yeah. That would be convenient for you in this case, right? Yeah, of course. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I'm not saying once again, and I don't think you are, Josh, either, that mm -hmm. now you're going to go to Applebee's or on the border to do this. <laughs> okay. And just like you said, splurge, okay. just so you can get what? No, you're going to be... Like if you don't have the money to spend, then don't spend it right. <laughs> at all. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. This is money that I, I I was able to spend. Okay. But my thinking was like, all right, I might as well get money back, cause it's available to me. Okay. Might as well. So that's why whenever I see people like pay with cash, like I want to tell them, dude, or do that, or whoever you are, <laughs> get this card. The thing is this. In order to have this card, you don't even need to have like great credit. You just need to have decent to good credit, okay? This is one of the reasons why I'm making this video. It's all about like having that good credit and I can definitely assist you with it. Just give me a call and we can talk about this, okay? Now, now this is how much I spent just on this card alone, all right? Now, what I wanna do on this board over here is go over the other credit card that I have. Now I have a few more that I spend, okay? But the other major credit card that I have is my Amazon Prime card, right? Now, okay. me, like millions of other people in this country, right, have an Amazon Prime account, okay? Now, I can almost guarantee you that most of those people are probably not us utilizing the credit card that Amazon has available that is, uh, I, think, I think the bank is Synchrony Bank, in which if you link that credit card to your Amazon Prime card, Prime account, all right, so that whenever you order something on Amazon, it automatically um, deducts, like it, it, it takes the money from the credit card. Now, guess what? Every time I use that card, every time, for whatever it is that I order or, or, or anybody in my family orders, okay, instead of getting one and a half percent cash back. You know how much cash back I get? How much cash back do you get? Five percent. Five percent. That's a pretty big percentage. Okay. Now, Synchrony or Amazon did not send me an email saying, hey, congratulations, you know, you got this much back. But, you know, maybe I'll find out one day, you know, how much money I saved. But imagine, imagine if I spent not just this amount on Capital One, but the same amount on Amazon, okay? And this is with an Amazon uh, credit card, you said? Yeah. 
that you could link. It's on, it's on like when Amazon, like when you get it, like I don't think they automatically ask you, okay, do you want to link it to your account? But you can easily, like I have my link. It's auto, it's automatic. Yeah, yeah. like it, it doesn't deduct from my bank account. It deducts from, it, well, it charges my Amazon credit card. Wow. Yeah, okay. That's a really good percentage. Oh, hell yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. It's great, yeah. And it's not just Amazon, it's Target. You know, Tar Target, it's the same thing. So anytime I go to Target, I use my Target card. Home Depot, I have a Home Depot card. Oh, like Every a Macy's time I go, card kind of thing like that? Something like that. I don't know about Macy's, but I know that Amazon has it, right? Mm -hmm. I know that Target has it. I know that Home Depot has it. Uh, I don't know of other ones, but I'm going to find out. You're speaking of ones that have good percentage back? Uh, yeah, Home, Home Depot is 5%. Lowe's is 5%. Oh, wow. Anytime, so like if you need to buy, like let's say, you know, lumber or... Um, uh, you know whatever materials for a project that you're doing at home, right. and it comes up to three thousand. Why would you not use your Lowe's card or your Home Depot card? For sure. If it's yeah. three thousand dollars, three thousand times five percent is what? Um, Fifteen. I don't know. What is it? Can you can you do? I don't know why it's not registering. It's it's it's, it's one hundred fifty bucks, right? Five percent of. So so three thousand times zero point zero five. Three thousand times. 0 0.05 yeah 150 okay so it's 150 dollars okay mm -hmm. that you sit, save i mean 150 dollars 150 dollars you know it's a lot yeah. so so uh, let, let's go back to this so like let's say i utilize this amount which i think i did in amazon because we're always ordering from amazon i mean always i get there's a pack every day at the house you know mm -hmm. so let's say it's fourteen thousand three sixty seven and 33 cents times 5%, 0 0.05. Josh, help, uh, if you could hook me up here again. Sure. What is it? 14,000? 14,367 times 33. I mean, 14, 0.33 times 0 0.05. 14,367.33 times, that's $718.36 cents. There you go. Seven hundred eighteen dollars and thirty six cents, huh? So that's how much you would get back off of a that's how much purchase. I'm saving every single year. All right. That's awesome. Now I'm specifically also speaking to those individuals who, you know, have, um, you know, that that this means a lot of money. Okay. You you know what made me think about this video, Josh? What's that? Okay. The, I, you know, I, I I sometimes I go to uh, Popeyes. All right. Yeah. Uh, there just happened to be a new Popeyes that opened up on Route 46 right by the Coles. Oh, you, you, you <laughs> couldn't could miss the opportunity. I couldn't resist. I couldn't resist. Couldn't yeah, resist. The, the chicken sandwiches are really good. Yeah. So one thing that I noticed was that, uh, you know, because it just opened up, I guess they're looking for still for, for some employees mm -hmm. and they're paying $12 an hour. Okay. okay. So when I see something like this, right, even somebody who's making 13, 14, 15 bucks an hour, I say to myself, Damn, if they knew about credit, man. Like seriously, if they knew about credit, they they, you know that 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 twelve bucks or four thirteen, fourteen, fifteen bucks an hour. Like, you know, they wouldn't be like not so much. I mean, I'm trying to help people out, right? So look, think about it. So like, let's say somebody works for for twelve bucks an hour, right? Right. Times forty hours a week, right? So that comes out to what? Um, twelve times forty. We should know these off the top. Yeah. Of so this is four hundred eighty dollars, right? Yeah. Yeah, I do know, all right, off the top of my head. Right? <laughs> okay. So somebody's gorgeous. working full time, right? Yeah. Okay, for twelve dollars an hour. You know what? Let's let's just do fifteen, right? Let's do fifteen. All right. So that's six hundred bucks a week, right? Now, is Popeyes or any place else that's gonna give you a paycheck and you're making fifteen bucks an hour, forty hours a week? When you get your paycheck, is it really six hundred bucks? Do no. you get 600 even? No, you don't. What do they take out? So they you take out taxes take and all that taxes, stuff, right? Yeah. And usually is what? Like maybe 20%, right? About. Okay, so then 20% of that you take away. So 6, 6 is 120. So then this comes out. Wait, hold on. 6, 60, 120. So then this comes out to about $480. Okay? So this comes out to about 480 bucks. Okay? Please, people. Think about this, $480. That's how much you would make in a week 
if you're getting paid 15 bucks an hour, you're working 40 hours a week, right? If you use an Amazon card, uh, your purchases on Amazon, if you go to Home Depot and use that Home Depot card, right? If you go to Target and use that Target card and you get that 5% off, okay? I'm not saying, you, you know, you're probably gonna spend this amount of money, all right? But look at all the savings. Look, if you're making, and this is in cash, this is cash savings, okay? You're basically, you, you see this? This goes into this almost twice. Just by utilizing cards like Amazon, like Capital One, you, you're gonna be taking, it's like you're getting paid two weeks worth of work per year, okay? Get these damn cards, okay? Especially for, you know, if you're struggling with finances, okay? Especially if you, if you're waking up early in the morning, going to that job where you're like, ah, oh, another day, you know, doing this, you know, I'm here in the grind. And you go home and, you know, last thing you want to do is like, you know, other activities at home, okay? And then on the weekends, you just want to relax, whatever. Look, utilize these cards. They're available for everybody. Doesn't matter where you're from. You could be from Mars. You could be from the moon. If you have good credit, you'll get it. It doesn't matter. It, I'm, yeah. I'm not sure about the credit situation on Mars, though. Yeah, you know, that, that Martian financial system, it's it's got a... Did they get it up and going? Uh, It's up, but it's not going. It's not going, okay. Yeah, or maybe it's the opposite. I don't think it's up, but it is going. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's on so, the way. It's there. It's in the middle. It's in between up and it's in between... <laughs> yeah, in between up and going. All right. Okay? All right, so... But, like, what I'm letting people know, you know, with this video is, like, come on, like, even if you spend half of this, right? All right, so just just the half of this is, like, 300, uh, I don't know, 60 bucks, right? $360, right? So you don't have to spend $14,000 on Amazon, right? Even if you spend $7,000 on Amazon, which I know millions of people do, millions of people do use the card use it because this is what you'll save imagine 360 bucks it's like taking one week off for all you people if for, for for all you wonderful people who work for 12 13 14 15 16 17 bucks an hour seriously like just use the damn card all right i want to help you get this card all right look i'm not i don't work for josh do i work for amazon you do not work for Amazon. Do I work for Capital One? No, but they should both be giving you a check. Do I work for Home Depot? You do not work for Do I for work Home for Depot? any credit card? You work for Robert Sabori. <laughs> exactly, yeah, exactly, yeah. And I also work for many, many, many people, meaning that I want to work for you guys. Like, I really do want to help you guys out with, with this stuff. It's just so damn important, okay? So... If anybody has any questions, please hit me up, put a comment. I'll put my phone number there as well, my email address as well. Let me know if you have any questions. I'm always around to help out. And uh, I hope you can utilize this uh, the way that I'm utilizing it. It's, it's helping me a lot. Um, and I really do want to share this information with everybody. You know, I want, I want you know, I, like, I don't know if you noticed, but I'm, like, I really do like this brings me joy like it really does make me you know uh, like almost like energetic i want to just tell people about it you know scream it from the rooftops and tell people look take advantage of this <laughs> really really do okay um see you in the next video